It's the first stop for all travelers arriving in this stunningly beautiful country. So we've just landed in Iceland. It's passport control and then straight to the PCR test. A COVID PCR test required at the airport. This tube is what you're going to need for the test. And another test five days later. Part of Iceland's highly effective response to the pandemic, keeping dangerous new variants out so far while still keeping borders open. And now Iceland is the first to introduce vaccine passports for citizens. You need to open up the borders in some way, and we have been trying to do that in a scientific way. As Dr. Fauci warns Americans about the risks of relaxing the rules too soon, Iceland is open for business, including gyms, restaurants, and hair salons. Leading the country's widely praised efforts, one of the youngest female leaders in the world. It's also so important that there are women who are making decisions. 45-year-old Prime Minister Katrin Jakob's daughter, who told us keeping kids in school was key to her. This was the first thing that uh, we said we will try to keep them as open as possible. You were also thinking about the effect this was going to have on women, not just on children, but on women. Absolutely. On gender equality, on families, on children and on the labor market. The country has advantages in battling COVID, a small population and relative isolation. Their success helped lure American Brent Ozar, who now lives here. I feel so much safer in Iceland. What could be a hopeful glimpse of the future. Sarah Harmon, NBC News, Reykjavik, Iceland. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.